The chicken wing and not releasing the golf club is without a doubt two of the biggest moves that plague the recreational golfer. If this sounds like you, stay tuned. This video is really gonna help. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel guys, Kerry Gray here at the beautiful Junalat Resort. Before we get stuck in, as always, please go down below, click subscribe, click that little bell so you get notified of all the great content coming your way. Alrighty, in today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about removing the chicken wing or when the elbows are separating through the golf ball and also teaching you how to release the golf club effectively. And I've got a great drill to encourage this move, which is also crucial and you'll see any of the high level golfers around the world performing this through the impact zone and that's why they play at such a proficient level. So if you're struggling with speed, you're struggling with controlling the height of your golf ball and the curvature, this is definitely something that you can look to implement into your game that I'm sure is gonna make a massive difference. Alrighty, so let's talk about the difference between releasing the golf club and not releasing the golf club and the chicken wing move and the look of it that we're trying to get rid of. So from the face on view here, what we would see with a player who does not release the golf club and tends to chicken ring would be a separation of the elbows through the impact zone. Effectively, the distance between the handle and the body will shorten. We usually see a lack of rotation and the club face never turns down to the ground at that stage throughout the swing. So essentially what this means is that the club face is staying open for too long and if we were to simplify this and put it up in front of you, the golf club is moving through the impact zone like this rather than whipping through with the arms folding back and around your body. So we generally see this with players who slice the ball and have huge contact issues with hitting the ground too far behind and also thinning as well. So from the down the line, it's gonna look like this. Player swings to the top, comes down into this position here. Generally, we would tend to see the club face open. So this angle right here, straight up and down or even more open than that. And then through the golf ball, what will happen is that club face is trying to shut down, square up with the target, your body stops rotating. And as a result, the arms bunch up, the lead arm moves around your body. And that also familiar sight, if you walk down the range, I'm sure you'll see plenty of golfers plagued with this issue. So if you feel like one of these, well then this is absolutely the video for you. So let's talk about number one from this angle here, when I'm actually going to be hitting towards the camera of a little move that we can begin to implement to help you increase the likelihood that we're going to release the golf club. And that's key, right? That is that long armed look, the club accelerating through the ball, finishing into this poised finish position that you see the average professional get into. So first of all, before we get to that, it's also very important to be mindful of what we tend to see in this downswing position, like I was talking about before with the club face open, so straight up and down or even open here. Now, if you are in this position, it's very difficult to get this move that I'm talking about, mainly because your body's gonna stall out subconsciously to try and square that club face back to the ball. So the very first port of call, go and see your local PGA Pro, and let's work on getting a better arm structure and grip with this lead arm to start off with, because that is only going to encourage this club to release better through the ball. Alrighty, so once you've taken care of that, here is the key. Here is the feeling that I need you to get. Standing up in front of the camera, if we look at my left elbow for the right-hander, if my left elbow is pointing in this direction through the golf ball, the arms are going to separate and move off the torso, and you can see they get this bunched up look right here. If I was to do that from this angle, as they separate and move, they move behind the seam line of the shirt. So getting down into the golf posture, we would see this right here. As you then continue to follow through, the arms work very low left and around. So the opposite to that, that what you would see the professional do would be that the lead arm itself would stay more in front of the body through this stage of the swing. The elbows would stay close together and then they would finish in this poised position, but the arms would still be relatively in front of the chest. So what we're gonna look for here with this little drill is how to train that front arm, the left arm for the right-hander to stay more in front of the body through the golf ball. And it's as simple as this. You're gonna grab your right hand for the right-hander and you're gonna place it underneath so it's on the back of your tricep of your left arm. And what you're gonna do here, you're gonna make little swings towards where the camera is facing, feeling like this right arm is pulling that left arm in front of the body. So you can see it's in this position where the elbow's in front. Yes, this is a slight exaggeration, but it needs to be because it's gonna be very different from this move here. 
What you're going to feel as you do this is you're going to feel a slight stretch up this left upper arm. This is what we call external rotation. This allows that club to release, turn down to the ground. Very similar to what you would do in tennis when the racket would turn after you hit a forehand. That is how you get this effect of whipping speed through the golf ball. And that's exactly what we need with our golf swing. So once you've got that feeling, what I want you to do is I want you to set up to a golf ball. Make a couple more swings, putting that arm in position, feeling like that lead arm is there. Step into it, recreate the sensation, and then I want you to stop in this follow through position. So that was a nine iron. I hit that about 100 meters. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn back to the camera. Once again, you can see that lead elbow more in front of the body. What we would see with the player who is going to chicken wing, who is not releasing the golf club effectively, it's going to look like this. Arms separate around the body. You can see this left elbow is bent and pulled back. You can see my arms are bunched up. The distance between the end of the handle and my body is quite close. And you can see as a result, I topped that golf ball just down there. So if you feel like this is plaguing you, excellent drill. You can practice it at home. You can spend time down the range. Put your back arm or your back hand in front of your lead elbow like this, and then make little swings back and through, just really getting the feeling that that arm is staying more in front of your body throughout the entirety. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you've got any questions, please ask me below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, I'm Kerry Gray. Thanks for watching.